Hello boys and girls, it's me again, OpusXPN here, and bring you another, I'll try to make it as fast as I can because this freaking thing is running low on battery. Um, I do smudging once in a while um, with sage in the house to clean out the atmosphere, clear out negative stuff, anything that I see is not right. Um, I do smudge around the house. If you don't know what smudging is, well, do research and you'll find out what smudging is. It's a basic ancient tradition from Native Americans used to purify and cleanse. Um, I don't do specific, you know, follow instructions and rituals. I just do what feels right. I pray my prayers for my religion. I don't pray anything different than that. Um, it doesn't have to be a certain thing, you know, you make it your own, the what it counts is your intentions, or what you want to get out of it, right? Um, so, uh, I've been burning sage and smudging, you know, on and off for a bit. Um, very nice herb, very, I mean, I, I like the scent of it. Um, it's like incense, right? So, my tools were a feather much pot and the stick right this much stick um or as much bundle whatever you want to call it so when i used it I was like you know what i need something i need something more well point something more traditional more personal more something that will help me or tool that will help me um make it more effective in a way because I didn't feel, once you're using something you don't feel is complete, you know, I don't think it would have the same effect. Um, so I wanted to create something for me, right? Something that I could use uh, for smudging. So I had the little tin can, but I went out and got an abalone shell, some more traditional way of smudging with the abalone shell. I can still, oh, I'm still going to use both, you know, depending on how I feel. Um, and I had a single feather, and I was like, no, I'm not going to, you know, I need more feathers to move more air. Um, I got some twine, leather straps, floral tape, you know, glue and stuff. This that's, that's what I used to create my fan. You know, I had some stuff laying around the house, my garage. Some stuff I had to buy it. So, um, and this is the finished product for my smudge fan, right? What it is, is, uh, it has some, um, turkey feathers. This one, I, this was my, the original feather I had by itself. Uh, so I got this broader one and this longer one right here. And I already, I already had these ones right here. So what I did, I had a enter shed my garage for a while. So I cut a piece, it just as a handle, drilled and tapped it, and super glued the feathers into the antler, and then tied some uh, floor tape and then some twine on top. And the photo tape just on top, but the twine the wheels goes from the top all the way to here. On top of that, I put some leather strap um, just for looks. The leather looks nice. And I also put this uh, this bean. Um, I think it's called a velvet bean, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or I know it's a deer eye. That's how I know it. Um, Deer eye or ojo de venado is used here for protection. It's in the protection amulet from guarding you from evil spirits or the evil eye. So, I mean, I mean, I want to make my fan personal, right? So I glued the um, the deer uh, deer side seat, and then I put this little owl. When I was getting the twine and the leather. I saw I was looking into some stones, but I couldn't find where I wanted. And I got this little owl. Owl means wise, wisdom, insight, intuition, the 
protection. It represents a lot of things. So, you know, I also wanted to incorporate the owl into my smudge fan. And uh, it also reminds me of the little metal owl that comes out on the original Clash of Titans. If you've seen the original Clash of Titans movie back from the 70s, uh, they have a little some metal owl that comes out there in the movie. This is what that this little owl reminded me of, so that's why I got it. Plus, what it represents, right? Um, so, this is my finished product. My finish uh, smudging fan with my dear enter handle, very nice. And then, thing about this is you can only hold it one way in order for you to. I tried to hold in a, you know hold it different ways and it's kind of more difficult. I mean, you can grab it from the top and go like this, or you can grab it from the bottom and go like this. And then you know the feathers are positioned that way so whenever you do the movement it will move the smoke so this is my um, smudge fan very satisfied with it made it my own my own little ideas and here in the bottom I'm gonna glue a little piece of tiger size uh, the ice tiger eye stone things yeah I got one on its way it's a little flat tie right stone that I'm gonna put here that's also for protection um, and uh, fencing and stuff so you know this is this is my smudge fan that I created out of stuff that I had here and stuff that I got from a craft store so you see I'm becoming very crafty Oh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon again.